Hey everybody, it's me again. I just wanted to talk about um, a news uh, broadcast I seen a few days ago about a um, an elderly lady who stayed about um, 17 hours in bed. She was in Kitchener. And um, just to summarize her a little bit, how it went was um, she got sent home and she was in the hospital for a period of time. Um, she had a mended broken hip. And um, she was with her daughter who was disabled and can't really help her out that well and that they're relying on PSWs to come into the home care agency that the Lynn had provided for them. That's uh, what they're called now. They're not called CCAC anymore. And um, what happened was uh, there was like uh, a period of time where she was left in bed and uh, the son ended up having to come in and toilet her and take some time off his job. And then finally the home care company apologized and for the staffing shortage that they said that they had and finally got some PSWs to come in. And then the caseworker from the Lynn got on the news and said that the, this is unacceptable, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so instead of everyone blaming someone or something, something needs to be done about the situation in general because I keep hearing it all the time. And that's why I'm making this video today because I wanted to open up people's eyes and I wanted to explain why these things are actually happening to shed some light on it because it doesn't seem like anyone anywhere wants to really shed some light on what's happening. So I am. So what's going on is the reason we have staffing shortages in home care, in home care companies is for the following reasons. First of all, it could be the time of the year. People are probably off or going back to school. And um, another major reason is the wages still. Now, people seem to think, hold on here a second, didn't we get enhancements over the last few years in home care? Yes, we did. All home care agencies across Ontario that have CCAC, the LIN, that they're doing LIN clients, are getting paid a, a starting wage if they start out at $16.50 an hour. The other problem here is that we're capped at $19 an hour and that's the maximum we can't make anymore. Now, the other problems we're having as well is it's hard to attract new workers because of this low wage compared to what PSWs get paid in long-term care and in hospital care. And um, home care companies that have private clients that pay, oh, they also have the pay that's bumped up to the maximum so they can usually make the same wage or the maximum wage that they're making um, to do private care. So they've stepped that up. That's a good idea. But still, like I said, it's not enough because, again, what you have to take in consideration is not only am I getting paid a lower wage, for example, and people like us in home care are getting paid a lower wage, we're also using our own vehicles to drive around. We're putting miles on our vehicles. We're having to put gas into our vehicles, maintenance our vehicles, and that all costs money too. And still, the government hasn't done anything to help the home care companies reimburse us for our lost causes. We don't get gas cards. We don't get any sort of allowance towards a new used car. We don't get anything to help us out in any of that regard. And we're stuck paying the bill most of the time. What we get back in mileage and travel time and in kilometers is really still pitiful. And with the gas prices gone up again, that doesn't help as well. You have to understand that the cost of living also is a big problem that people are seeing. Eventually, this is going to hit us when the entire Ontario government raises our minimum wage to $14 and then $15 an hour. So think about it. We're going to have an even bigger problem if we don't do something soon because we're going to be, basically, if you're starting a PSW at $16.15 an hour in 2019 and you're having a minimum wage of $15 an hour and you can go do any job for that, hey, you know, you got a wide open choice to do something else then. So that's really going to hurt people in the long run. People are gravitating more towards the casual hours that they can try to get in long-term and in hospital care because in long-term care, you start out over $20 an hour and in hospitals, you usually start over $23, $24 an hour. So, you know, that's a big pay difference right there. All right. Now, a lot of other things that home care companies aren't doing to attract and keep workers is the guaranteed hours part because they can't guarantee hours. They can have guaranteed minimum contracts, which pay you a minimum of probably 20 hours a week if you don't have anybody. But still, you know, that's only 20 hours a week. That's like really minimum part time right there. All right. And, you know, people are looking for benefits as well. And that's a big thing as well, because in this job, you can get hurt. You can have something wrong with you and you need your benefits as well. All right. But those are just side things right there. Like I was explaining earlier, it's the guaranteed hours. It's the 
um, the stress and maintenance on your car and it's the wage and this is the part of the problem why we're having trouble keeping people in home care and this needs to be addressed this is something that should have been addressed along with the wage enhancements a long time ago you know they should have thrown out there that companies need to give minimum hour contracts you know you need to throw these companies something they they need to they need these kind of tools in order to keep their workforce because people after a long period of time working in this industry, I've seen it many times before, a lot of PSWs that have come and gone over the years, including my supervisors, which are nurses, they stay for a while and then they leave to go on to something that makes more money or they switch careers. Now, you know, um, as a PSW, I've seen good PSWs leave and go on to other jobs that pay more money or they get a new career altogether. And as for my supervisors who are RPNs, obviously, they end up, you know, leaving the supervisor job because it doesn't pay enough and they end up going to back to the field to do, uh, to be a nurse, to get paid more money and or they end up going back to school to be an RN or they just go and do something different that makes more money because they have those credentials. So, you know, these are the kind of things we need to fix in the home care system. You know, and uh, going back to that lady who got stuck in bed for a while, I feel bad for her. But like I said, I see this all too often. It's the timing of getting the paperwork from the LIN also to the home care company. That care plan has been designed by the caseworker. Once it gets to the home care company, it's up to the home care company to provide the staff. Now, the problem is, like I just said, they can't provide the staff if they don't have it because they can't hire people or they just can't get people. You know what I mean? It all depends on hours. You cannot hire a PSW unless you have an abundance for hours of them. Yet again, like I said, there's not enough hours for them properly. You know what I mean? And then the other workers are stuck trying to fit that person into their schedule. So... Something needs to be done sooner rather than later. We need to figure out a way to attract and keep workers in the system for many years. And with the population aging and the Statistics Canada, like I've seen it just recently, by 2036, we're supposed to have one in four Canadians who are supposed to be over the age of 65. That scares me because if you ratio that down, that's about 48% of the population of Ontario that's going to be in it like over the age of 65 you know what I mean like that's pretty scary and stuff like 42 to 48 percent and uh, obviously most of those people are going to need some type of home care eventually so you're going to need PSWs you're going to be need nurses and you're going to have to find ways to attract them and keep them in this industry so all I'm saying is the government the Lynn and the home care companies need to work together to find a solution to keep PSWs to keep frontline care workers in this province because this sort of situation is happening way too often it's a problem and you know there are people like myself who do want to work and who do want hours but the problem is yet again there needs to be a little bit more of an incentive and something needs to be done about us maintaining our cars our vehicles on the road and that needs to be addressed as well all right so i know there's a solution to this problem, but I'm just bringing this to light to people so that they understand if they have loved ones that are going through the situation that you're not the only ones and this happens quite often, okay? You need to write your MPs, you need to tell them, you need to voice your opinions, you need to tell them that help these people out, help us out from what I just said in my video here and do something about that because we want to help you, but the government needs to help us, all right? So that makes sense. Anyways, folks, I hope this video opens up a few more eyes and explanations, people, explanations is what I always like to give. And that's my explanation of what's going on. Um, and that's also part of a bigger problem with the home care system right now. Anyways, folks, you take it easy. Comments or questions in the box below. Throw me an email if you need some questions answered. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.